He's gonna end up at the caged bear bar and grill. In my belly! What's up my immune friends? This is KG4E and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. Okay guys, we are going to finish up the food house, or as it will be christened, the Caged Bear Bar and Grill. Alright, thank you guys, that's a, that's a freaking great name. The Caged, Caged Bear Bar and Grill. I love it man, that's a great... Great freaking name. Uh, and I think in, you know, celebration of the name, I think we're going to go out and kill a bear today as well. All right. So my original idea was to have some uh, some area out here for dining. Um, but then I was thinking, you know what? That would be a pretty nice place for drying racks. Or should I put the drying racks up here and then leave this open for outside dining? Um, how many drying racks am I really going to need? How much space do they take? Let's take a look at them. Um, yeah, they take a decent amount of space. I don't... I mean, I could put two right in the front. Am I ever going to need more than two drying racks? Probably not. I could put one right there, one right there. Or, you know what? I could even put the drying racks out here. Oh, yeah. I could put two drying racks out here, two up there, and then that would leave the space over here for outside dining. Because I'm going to let you know, guys. I'm going to let you know. Where'd she go? Let's see if we can find her. Oh, Rachel. Oh, Rachel, are you here? Her name's Rachel, by the way, not Kate. I don't care what that thing says. Somebody also said the gender things are, are backwards. So, where did I see those gender things? I don't remember where I saw it, but I, I think they're backwards. Maybe it was when I was, um... Oh, yeah, right there. Those are backwards? That's... Yeah, that is for the, the upside down plus is the female, right? Yeah. Oh, it does say Rachel. Okay, so it says Rachel, but that's a picture of Kate. I know. All right, well, I don't know where she went. But, oh, there she is. Here, let's go talk to her. Hey, Rachel, listen. Listen, I know I promised you... Oh, sorry. Sorry. I know I promised you that you could have outside dining at your leisure, but I think we're going to put dry racks over there. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. No. No, I don't want you to murder me in my sleep. I'd prefer if you did not murder me in my sleep. Okay. I'll put the drying racks somewhere else. Okay? Sorry. 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 See, you can't you can't fuck around with Rachel, man. She will gut you and, and try not to get any blood on her shoes. It won't even bother her. Okay. So I think we're gonna I think we need the outside dining. Okay. Because I'm not gonna get on that woman's bad side. So let's go ahead and put that down right there. And it's funny. I'm gonna be making like enough dining things for like ten people. It's like ever gonna be like four people here. Um, but that's okay. Hey, you know what? Maybe if the maybe if the bandits show up, they're gonna be like, "Oh, we're the bandits. We're here to kill you and take your stuff." And I'm gonna be like, "Hold on, guys. Hold on. Do you guys have outside dining at your establishment at your base?" Well, actually, we don't. Well, why don't you come hang out with us and have some? Hey, look, look at um, look at Rachel over there. She's pretty, she's pretty hot, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I know her. She, that's the one I rescued from their base. <laughs> no, those guys are all dead. That's not her. Um, you know, so. I don't know. I just like building a lot of stuff, and that's just the way it is. All right, so we need some nails. Uh, I don't see any in there. I'm pretty sure I had them make a bunch of nails. Let's see. Uh, did I put them away? Okay, I did. That's not going to be enough nails, by the way. It's good enough for now, but I think I want them to make some more nails. I do have some stuff that they can make some more nails, so a hey, um, hey, uh, Scotty boy, get to work. Get to work, buddy. All right, so let's make this dining outside experience. We're going to put some drying racks in here. Um, you know, at some point in the near future, we're going to have to set up lights in this base. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to think about that. I'm also going to th start thinking about where I'm going to put the walls. I also want to start a farm. Um, farming in this game is 100% useless from last I checked. Uh, I don't know if he fixed it, but um, it's really buggy and just kind of messed up. <laughs> um, you know, you have to water the, the crops for like 20 minutes and it takes like an hour and it just it sucks. Um, yeah, you have to water them for 20 minutes, but it takes an hour. Hmm. How exactly does that work, Cage? I don't know. Trust me. That's the way it goes. Um, yeah, the, the watering wasn't very good. Um, although I haven't messed around with, uh, with like the farming in a while. So maybe, maybe you fixed it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't seen any updates though. Um, he, you know, he's one developer and it's a pretty tough game to, um, uh, to develop. So, you know, he's doing what he can. And uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, these are nice chairs for outside. They look kind of plastic. Like this like um, part holding the chair together looks plastic. And this actually looks like wood colored plastic. And plastic is what you want outside. 
Now, I could have that completely wrong. Maybe this stuff is fine dining and it's going to get ruined outside. I don't know. But that's what we're going to go for. Okay, so that looks pretty good right there. Okay, and I mean, these chairs would not be tucked under, like I mentioned last episode, because, uh, you know, it's not like we have, like, you know, uh, busboys <laughs> tucking the chairs underneath, right? Um, maybe I won't even put one on this side. Mm, should I? Should I put one on this side? Sure, why not? Yeah, there we go. We need a lot of chairs. Do we really need three tables in here? I mean, it seats four. Do we really need a spot for 12 people? Um. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Because, like I said, we could have bandits coming to visit. And they might say they might try and kill us. And I'm be like, look at all this fine dining establishment. And they're like, you know what? These guys aren't so bad. Maybe we won't kill them and take all their stuff. You don't know. That could happen. I mean, it couldn't hurt, right? Or maybe it'll just make the place more attractive. Like, they'll be passing by and they're like, oh, look at this dump. This place sucks. We're not even going to kill them and take all their stuff. Uh, and then they see my, you know, ca the caged bear bar and grill. Um, and they're going to be like, well, <laughs> wait a minute. Let me think about this. You know? So maybe this is a bad idea, but whatevs. You got to live good, man. And it can't just all be survival. It can't be all survival. One of these things um, these survival games don't do, none of them, probably because it's a really tough thing to do, is uh, deal with the psychological issues of survival. Um, I remember Starvation Mod in Seven Days to Die had an insanity thing. And actually, um, what do you call it? That, that other game. That game that looks like crap but plays really good. Um, you guys know the game I'm talking about, right? Project Zomboid. Uh, the game looks like, you know, it's, it, the graphics aren't good in Project Zomboid. I'm just going to put that right out there. But as far as zombie survi survival games go, it's, it's one of the best. It really is good. I need to get back at that some, get back on that some point. All right, so my hammer is just about done. We should probably make the repair bench. Oh, we already made the repair bench. Let's see what it let's see what it costs to uh to repair this hammer. Kind of curious. Let's see. What does it cost? What does it cost? Oh wow, that's really cheap. Wait, how much does it cost to make a hammer? Okay, so that's I'm I'm only looking. I'm not worrying about the duct tape because duct tape's only used for repairs. It's not used for anything else in the game that I'm aware of. Um, God, I hope I got that right, but <laughs> maybe I should um, look into stuff before I go running my mouth about duct tape. Um, yeah, no duct tape is used there. No duct tape there. I think it's specifically only for repairs. So, yeah, I'm not seeing duct tape used for anything in any of this stuff. What about this? This menu. No, I don't think so. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, so duct tape isn't really a problem. Wood, obviously, is not a problem. I got Scott chopping down trees like a beast. Um, but the low-quality metal is... What is that? What is that? Four? I think low-quality... Uh, four for one low-quality. Oh, no, it's two. Wait, what? That... Oh, okay. Well, that's not bad. All right, so it's two of these for one low-quality metal. Now let's see what it costs to actually craft the hammer itself. Oh, look at that. It takes four. So it is way cheaper to repair the hammer. Cool. That's the way it should be. It should be cheaper. Because wh why would you build the repair bench and bother repairing if it's not cheaper? Right? Now, I think I have multiple hammers. So the idea of repairing this hammer is kind of foolish. But at the same time, I'm afraid I'm going to forget. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to let it break. The hell with it. Um, don't really need to repair it. I've got multiple hammers. Um, where did it go? Did I leave it in the repair bench? Yeah, I did. I'm going to let it break, just because I've got like three of them. Um, but the thing is, I'm worried that I'm going to let them all break, and then I'm just going to save the last one, and then the last one will break. You know what? No. I'm not going to let it break. Because you know what's going to happen? I'm going to forget. I'm going to have one hammer left, and then I'm going to let it break, and then I'm not going to have any hammers. And then I'm going to say, stop! Hammer time. All right, so let's get the duct tape, and... Uh, I wonder how we get duct tape. Dude, does duct tape drop off the uh, infected? I might want to save my duct tape, to be perfectly honest. There's another hammer. <laughs> How much duct tape do I have? I don't know if it drops off the zombies. I think it does. Oh god, I don't have any. Never mind, it doesn't look like I have any duct tape. Now, I went through all my stuff, and I cannot find any duct tape. I only have one duct tape to my name. Um, so it probably means we have to go out and do some more looting. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can farm some, uh, some zombies here during the mist. 
and see if they drop duct tape. I'm pretty sure they do. But I haven't gotten any yet. I've gotten other stuff, though. So that's cool. All you gotta do is sleep, and then they know exactly where you are, and they come after you. See? No problem. You build up a freaking body count. Come on. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Definitely not what I wanted to do. There we go. We need those electrical uh, circuits for lights. Very important. Very hard to get. And uh, we're just going to keep farming these guys. I haven't got any duct tape yet, though. I'm pretty sure they dropped duct tape, but I don't know. I guess I could be wrong. Maybe I just got unlucky. Getting a ton of salt, which is really nice. I'm also throwing out potatoes because I don't give a F about the potatoes. <laughs> really don't. Get a decent amount of food, too, which is nice. So we're just going to kind of drop some stuff in here. And uh, continue farming. All right, guys, it's a large pile of corpses. But the good news is I did get one duct tape. Now, the good news is I got the duct tape, so duct tape does drop. The bad news is I only got one duct tape. <laughs> so I don't know if it's like a, a super rare drop or, or what the deal is, but, you know, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a tough one right there. All right, well, let's go keep building. And um, I think I'm going to leave this drying rack here for now. Uh, we're going to come up here and continue building, though. Break, break this hammer. Make some more hammers. It's fine. It's fine. We got chairs for days. We got we got room, guys. You know you don't need no retro. You don't need no reservations at uh, the Cage Bear Bar and Grill. That, by the way, that's a that's a bit of a tongue twister right there. Cage's Bear Cage's Bear Bar Cage <laughs> the Cage Bear Bar and Grill. All right, it's not so bad when you. It's not that bad, but it's a bit of a tongue twister. The Cage Bear Bar and Grill. Caged Bear. Cage bear, cage bear, cage bear. It sounds like I'm saying cage bear, like I'm some kind of, they're going to make a cage 848 teddy bear uh, merch. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> I kind of like that. A cage 848 teddy bear merch. It's creepy and awesome all at the same time. All right, let's go upstairs and get some sleep. Uh, we'll sleep for eight hours. Got to get a full eight hours. All right. There we go. Six hours. Getting hungry, getting thirsty. We do have to go kill a bear. I don't know if we'll have to do it today, though. I've actually gotten a decent amount of food from the um, from farming the zombies, so I might not have to kill a bear today. Although, <coughs> I kind of want to, just, you know, because I don't like them. I simply don't like them. We don't have that much food. We got a lot of salt, which is really nice. That is very, very helpful. Go ahead and eat that. And then we will drink till full. Drink until enough. Alright, cool. Alright, let's get to work. Let's go to work. Let me get some water really quick. Uh, water barrel, water. Uh, 27 liters. It doesn't say if it's, if it's good or not, right? There, that's safe. And that is unsafe. We should probably get these things going, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's do that now, actually. It's a good idea. All right, so what do we need for these again? Um, matches, firewood, and bark. Matches, firewood, and bark. Really? I don't have any bark? Huh. I think I got some bark somewhere. I think it's out here. Really? Look at that. Come on. No freaking way do I not have bark. It might all, it might all be in the fire. Unless I didn't put it in there. Yeah, there it is. I gotta get some more bark. I wish I could tell my people to go get me some damn bark. Alright, so what we gotta do now is we gotta grab the... Did I pick it up? Yep, grab the bucket. And come over here to the unsafe water. We're gonna have to fill up our unsafe water pretty soon, too. That thing's getting, uh, getting quite empty. Alright, then you go like this. I hate the way you have to, like, click on the amount of liters you want to give. Like, I wish I could just click give and it would give it all the all the water it possibly can. Alright, take. Can I shift click? No. We need a shift click in the worst way. Alright, so this thing can only hold 16 liters. So I will just give it 6. And distill. And we'll do the same thing here. Having two of these is really going to help. Uh, you know, it's going to make it go twice as fast. 
KJ, they, they caged bear bar and grill. Now the water is twice as fast. I didn't take it out of there, did I? Nope, I did not. Okay, you go there, you take. And we're going to do this again. Ugh. Because it's only going to be uh, 14 liters. Son of a biscuit. All right, I'm just going to take out two. Oh, you can't choose how much to take out there. Wow, this thing's like empty. We really got to go fill it up. All right, then. Two liters, please. And this still. Oh, no. Where'd the... Oh, cool. Okay. It's like, where'd the bucket go? It's right there. Very good. Okay, so now you can go up there. Oh, man, we need a... We need more stuff. We need more stuff! We gotta do some looting videos, too. I wanna get... I wanna, um... There's, like, a lot of places I wanna, like, explore. And I also wanna get the, those two more bag spots opened up. Like, ASAP. ASAP means now. <laughs> it means now, damn it. All right, so let's grab as many logs as we possibly can. And um, we'll chop up a few of them because I don't want to wait for my slow-ass freaking people. And then I'll have them chop up a few more. We should really pick up all this stuff out here, but I don't really have time for it. Okay. So let's get back. Let's chop some of these into planks. Let's finish up all the tables. Then we're going to put up some drying racks. Hopefully we have the sticks for the drying racks. We might not have them enough to... Uh, we might not have enough today, but, you know, we'll do as much as we can. Uh, let's just do 30 myself. And then we'll have... Uh, we'll have uh, Rachel do these. I mean, we've had Scott do a lot. Poor Scott. He's going to be like, I do everything around here, man. Why you do this to me, Cage? I thought we were friends. Okay. Is that going to be enough to finish the tables? Maybe. Just maybe. It's done. Oh, this one isn't finished? Wait, am I at, I'm at a nails? Son of a bitch. Alright, let's get this stuff done. And then we'll... Wait, it's kind of weird that I didn't finish the one in the back. Like, why would the, the one in the back was the ones I was doing first, so I don't understand how I didn't use all the nails when I was back there. Weird. Come on. Right. So we just need a few more nails. I'll probably set them up to make, it, make more nails even, because, oh boy, we're going to need a lot of nails. How about just eight and eight worth of nails? The hell with it. Oh, let's take these out. So they don't start going... Uh, it's pretty cool the way they go on top now, though. They're pretty organized. Which I, I do appreciate that. So it's always been a problem. Yeah, throw that on the ground. Throw that on the ground. Throw that on the ground. Just throw it on the ground. Whatevs. We'll get to it. Or not. Oh, yeah, the nails. <laughs> Alright. So, nails. Scotty boy, this one's going to be yours. Get to work. Don't make me done tell you again. There we go. And that chair is complete. And one more chair. As I'm standing on it. It's beautiful. Okay, cool. And there you go. That's Yeah, that looks... Actually, that looks really good. It looks really good. It's not a lot of room there, but that's the way, you know, uh, restaurants are. This place is... This place is... Um, it's, it's packed, man. It's going to be packed. So, you know... Standing room only, whatever that means. <laughs> All right, so um, here we go. We got a drying rack. We'll put one right here. That's pretty good to me. And then we'll put another one right there. Okay. Okay. And then we'll move this one out there move right there uh, it doesn't look quite lined up yeah, it's pretty good now we can pick this up <laughs> wonder, wonder how bad that is oh 78% not too bad considering it's been sitting on the ground for so long and then we're going to get the other drying rack right here Which 
sure. Why not? All right, so we're gonna need a lot of rope for these. Dry oh my god, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of rope and st stick and ropes, rope and sticks. I get a lot of new people watching my videos, especially um, for this game. So I'm gonna show you a little trick here uh, to spot stuff on the ground easier. All right, so you go into the options menu, you go to display, and you turn. Um, oh, I'm sorry, graphics, and you turn foliage all the way to low, and it allows you to spot stuff. Now it makes the game look like crap. Um, so I tend not to play like that when I don't have to. But, you know, trying to find stuff on the ground is just a pain in the ass. So this is, um, this makes things a lot more manageable. And I also have another tip for you newbies. And I'm going to show it to you in a second. Now to make lashings, I'm going to need leaves and I'm also going to need bark. Alright. Uh, leaves, I think people said if you use a sledgehammer you can get leaves. Uh, I don't know if that's true though. Let's, let's kind of see. Uh, that I don't know. Let's see if we get leaves. Yep, you get leaves. Okay, very good. Do you like that? Now, what we're really looking for though is bark. And if you use knife, especially if you look down, you get bark uh, much quicker. Now, is there anything you can do to get sticks quicker? Because like, st it's kind of weird. There's a way to get leaves and bark and the logs, but there's no way to get sticks. Especially considering you need a lot of sticks in this game. I mean, it might be the most needed item to be honest. Hey, there we go. We got a lot of bark. All right, so we're gonna need um two, four, six lashing, I think. So let's go ahead and see if we can make six lashing. Not even close, but that's okay. That's okay. I think we ran out. Of s oh yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, we ran out of bark. Okay, that is fine. We will get some more bark. Stabby, 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 stabbing you tree. Fuck you, Mother Nature. Suck on that, Mother Nature. How you like me now? She's gonna freaking call... I don't know. I was gonna say tornado. It doesn't look like tornado country, though. A blizzard? No, I don't know. Maybe... Oh, oh, bear. Yeah, Mother Nature's gonna get me with a bear. That's right. She's gonna send one of her bears after me. It's okay. You, Mother Nature, you send a bear after me? He's going to end up at the caged bear bar and grill. In my belly. Alright. And there we go. Alright. Can we make some more lashings please? Three more. We need more leaves. That's fine. Well, in order to get, um, la to make lashings, it's, you, you have what you need. Um, so that's cool. Oh, we're just going to go ahead and grab some more leaves. I don't think I want to beat on the trees though for the leaves because I'm going to need the sticks anyway. As a matter of fact, let's make some sticks right now. We're going to need quite a bit of sticks. Like pickup sticks. You guys ever play pickup sticks? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Pretty fun back in the day. Freaking stupid damn mist. I hate you, mist. I hate you so much! And I'll just sleep right in the middle of here. Hopefully they don't interrupt me. And uh, three hours. That wasn't an interruption. That always happens where, wherever you sleep. So let's see if we can sleep. The mist is usually about three hours. And we are good. Beautiful. It's over. It's all over. It's all over, you dirty zombies. Look at you now. Huh? How you like that? Do you like apples? What? I said, do you like apples? Yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? Who can tell me what that's from without Googling it? Don't Google. I'll know. I always know. Alright. So, got that lashing or what? How are we doing with that lashing? I forget how many more we need. We'll just make two. I need six total, I think. And we have seven. Okay, good. I made one extra. I'm sure I'll need it for something. Right, let's go finish up these uh, dry racks. Uh, oh. Wait, what? Did I... I broke the... Mmm. See, I broke the knife. That's not good. That's not good. How much does it take to make a knife? See, with, with, with as difficult as it is to get duct tape now, I don't think I'm going to be, um... I don't think I'm repairing anything. You know? So, how much does it take for a knife? Because I'm going to need a lot of, uh... I'm going to need a lot of bark. And I think when Scott cuts down trees, you don't get bark. Which means I'm going to have to do it myself. Uh, oh, alright. You know what? That's not too bad, I guess. That's not too bad. I could live with that. Let's finish this up. 
the timer is getting all over my case. Yeah, we use the knife for a lot of things. Use it to get bark, use it to gut, gut up the bear, use it to make sticks. Actually, it probably broke on the sticks. Here we go. And we dehydrated. Let's go ahead and have a drink. Yeah, love this. And then finish this last one up and call it a video. Cool. So thank you very much for the name, the Caged Bear Bar and Grill. I, I like it a lot. If as long as I can like figure out like how to say it all the time without screwing it up. And um, yeah, it's done. It's done. We're gonna do next episode. More building or I gotta do lights on the base. Um, but I also want to go exploring. I'm probably gonna do loot runs next video. I think that might be the case. All right. Well, one thing's for sure. We're gonna kill a bear because we've got a lot of room for bear hide. And all that good stuff. So, all right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ever joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.